Oh, now what? You know, Jen, as much as I enjoy our chats, we're a little busy. You said before I didn't know what was going on. So why don't you educate me? <laughs> Look who finally figured out that four people aren't taking on the entire COG army just for the hell of it. Took her long enough. Here's what I propose. We all go back to New Ifira and you tell me exactly what's out here. You've seen them, haven't you? This isn't an intelligence summit, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. What's obvious is that my efforts to keep our society united is the only chance we have against whatever's out here. You, you actually believe the bullshit that comes out of your mouth, don't you? Must be comforting, since no one else does. Lieutenant! I'm not your fucking lieutenant! JD, what's happening? <laughs> happened to Jen? Just... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort it out later. We need to get to that radio tower. Wait. You hear that? Yeah. Sounds like Jen didn't come alone. What is this? Jen's bucket heads are taking on the swarm. Investigating potential detainment. Gotta help us. Let's do this. Let's head to the radio tower. Take that. Hey, come on. Let's get this open. Radio tower, dead ahead. Okay, so what did happen to Jen's body? I think that Pouncer's quills hacked into it somehow. How would that work? A bioelectric field, maybe? Mm, or some kind of voltage-gated ion channel. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. It does.
Uh, locked. We gotta find a way around. Hey, there's a factory up ahead. Let's make our way through. Yes! The deal with him! <laughs> hey! We got more of them! Clear. Let's just get inside the factory before any more show up. Hey, help me with this. Help me open this door. Well, look at that. An old centaur factory. Huh. Oh, he used to ride in these heaps, huh? They weren't so bad. A little cramped. It broke down all the time. Mm, it sounds like they were pretty bad. <laughs> Look sharp! We got drones! Good. Ammo. 
Elite drone! Ah, shit! Another scion! Find a way out of here. Better load up on ammo while we can. Oh, you think we'll need it? Yeah, Del. Unless your Lancer runs on smart ass. Seems to be working so far. The radio tower should be just ahead, up this hill. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll get there without a hitch. Okay, we're done here. Dad, ready to make that call? I've been ready. This will come in handy. Wait here. Hey, Dad, hang on. Tell him we're gonna need more than a couple of extra Lancers here, and seriously, bots might do more harm than good. Don't worry. He'll pull something out of his ass. He always does. They're surrounding us. the crap out of me. Huh. Sorry. Backup's on its way. How long before he gets here? <clears throat> long enough that we'll need this. 
Dad, what's the deal? Where's he meeting us? Close. But we got time and swarm to kill before he gets here. From the sound of things, they're gonna attack any minute. That's why we dig in here. That's the last of them. Build what you can before more attack.
I doubt for very long. Get on that fabricator. I know. What do you know? Looks like it's all clear. No, no, no. You have got to stop saying that. Seriously. Saying what? All clear. Come on. It's a perfect way to jinx us. Come on, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Since this all began, when has it ever been all clear? Normally I'd say jinxing has nothing to do with actual probabilities, but in this case, I agree. Don't say it. All right, this is ridiculous. Look around. It is all clear. Marcus, come on, man. Yeah, Dad, I don't know. They're kind of convinced me. He said he'd meet us at the intersection just ahead. Uh, something big's heading this way. Hey, Marcus! You jinxed us! Great job! When Marcus Phoenix calls him help, he does not mess around. What? You don't call, you don't write? Hey! Who loves you, Marcus? Woo! Been too long, Cole. Yeah, about ten years too long. You remember James? Yeah, I remember him being a lot smaller. <laughs> Everyone's small next to you, Uncle Cole. Uncle Cole? Excuse me, what? Didn't I give you enough toys when you were a kid? Oh, I've seen enough of your toys to last a lifetime, thanks. His toys? Kate, Dell, meet Damon Baird, CEO of DB Industries, whose bots have been trying to kill us for the last 20 hours. Hey, whoa, whoa, the whole killer DB thing? Jin did that, not me. Well, they've still got your initials on them. Let me know if any of this sounds familiar. You go AWOL from the COG, oh, about six months ago, and somehow no one arrests you. Or, or even more recently, there you are, stuck in Settlement 5, and just magically, a bot transport cart pulls up and tells you to get in. Oh, seriously, Dad? You, you had this asshole watching out for me? 
I think the word you might be looking for is thank you. You sure you can handle this thing? You know the kind of day we've had? You wouldn't ask. JD's and Jack Jr., so one of you take second betting. So they bet. Hmm. Really bad. Uh, I kind of missed them in a weird, messed up sort of way. I know what you mean. And there's our ride. I'm here, sweet cheeks. Ready to go? Tell me your wife wanted to do this. Um, Sam and I aren't married. Special lady friend, please. And she insisted on coming. Hey, kids. Can you hear me up there? Yeah, I hear you. Minnie's at the dam. Oh, and Uncle Beard. Try to keep up. Yeah, but this time it's picking up so 
far so good. Hey, any idea what's up ahead? Seen a lot of bad guys. Big ones too. Big, huh? You know, I think we can handle big. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the story of my life!
swarm down here to deal with. Just finish that damn thing off. Hey, Baird, what's the Raven's condition? Main runner's okay, tail's gone. Why? I just got an idea. <laughs> Let's go get her.
take it. This isn't over, so get her somewhere safe. I don't need protection. I know. You need time. Trust me, I've been there. She wanted you to have that. It was... It was my grandmother's. I never knew her. It's beautiful. Everybody. 